Hello from Alfred Music and Sound Innovations. I'm Robert Sheldon. The COVID pandemic has created so much uncertainty about everything in our world, and certainly that impacts what schools will look like this fall. Band directors face even more challenges than many other teachers as we try to figure out how to do what we need to do for our students in a way that will keep everyone safe. Many of us will find ourselves teaching in a virtual setting rather than in person, and that presents many additional challenges, especially when it comes to starting students out on their new instruments. Here at Sound Innovations, we have found ways to help you and your students keep the music alive during these difficult times, and that includes providing you with materials and online resources that are proven effective and easy to use. Using a combination of Sound Innovations, the free SI online resources, free access to smart music, and the Sound Innovations performance series, we can help you continue to provide a successful and enjoyable experience to your students while not creating more work for you and saving you time. I'd like to introduce one of our authors, Peter Boonshaft, to explain how these four components can work together to help you and your students this fall. Thank you, Robert. I'd like to share with you some practical ideas for using Sound Innovations Book One in the new educational environment we find ourselves. Each passing day seems to confirm that we will be working with our students in small in-person groups, online, or in a hybrid model. So we just have to think of different ways to do what we've always done. Thinking about the process as well as the product of how we teach, leaning on all of the available resources, like those we are going to talk about in this video, and having a detailed plan for what we are going to do in each of those three scenarios. To that end, we want to provide you with two amazing resources for your beginning students as they start the school year. SI Online and Smart Music. To view tutorials on how to use SI Online or Smart Music, you can go to alfred.com slash SI Online or academy.smartmusic.com for step-by-step -step directions. First, let's talk about SI Online, which gives you free access for every type of device, whether it be Chromebooks, laptops, cell phones, or as an ebook or shown on your Zoom screen. It has all of the instrument specific audio recordings with and without accompaniment for every line in the book, including the tempo changer right on the screen to accommodate those who need to practice slower to achieve success or those who need to practice faster to stay challenged. They also feature the ability to loop in and out of a difficult passage to solidify progress. And the remarkable quality of these recordings allows students to work on modeling characteristic tone, whether at home or in school. It has all of the amazing video instruction that covers everything from opening the case to the final solo. So you can teach a concept and then students can review and reinforce it online, or you can assign a video to be watched at home. And it has a myriad of free enrichment supplemental pages that can be viewed on screen or printed out to practice and reinforce concepts. These are perfect for further review and to allow students to enjoy playing concepts that they have already learned simply for fun. These include additional tune pages, rhythm pages, full ensemble pages, duets, theory, history, composition, improvisation pages, and much more. Chris, why don't you demonstrate how easy it is to access SI Online and some of those features? Sure thing. First, let me share my screen. Okay. So modeling much of the Sound Innovations curriculum, you can see that the page is very clean, clear, and easy to use. You go to siomline.alfred.com and you can put in the product number here. Teachers are going to want to put in the teacher score product code and students are going to want to put in the code that's on their book. The teacher code is going to give you access to everything, all the videos, all the audio, all the supplemental that's appropriate for every instrument. The student product code will put in only their instrument, so that way they have what they need. I've already put mine in, and you can see up here on the right is the bank where it keeps all of the information that I have. Now, this is really nice because if you teach more than one level, or if you teach more than one ensemble, you don't have to put in a new code for each one. They're all memorized right in here. So let's say we're going to be working on flute. You get this menu. Again, it lays out exactly like the book is by levels. And there's a couple different ways to navigate it. You can open up and follow along on page three. Here's the posture. And then you can watch the video for it. I really like the filter keys up here. If I want to see all the audio, I click the audio button. Now it's everything that's audio. If 
I want to see all the videos. I can see all the videos together and the amazing PDF content all in one place to filter it. When students open these, it brings you right to the interface, which again is very easy to use. Play, next video, previous video, and then some of the advanced fe features Peter mentioned, if you want to go faster, or loop sections would go right here. One of the challenges is going to be starting those kids at home and them discovering how to perform for the very first time. The videos are going to be enormously helpful for that. Let's watch just a little bit of a video. When I'm at home watching TV, I sit however I want. But when we're playing the flute, good posture is really important. It helps us to take nice deep breaths and to be able to support the sound with a very good airstream. So you can see it's very important for teachers to be teaching with their students at home, even when you're remote. So this is kind of like you sitting next to them, giving them the, off, the tips that they need and the support that they need when you're usually at school. You can go back to another section. Uh, and I love how much detail there is in this. I'm sure in first sounds, the playing position, tongue in, good tone, tuning notes. That's all before getting started on your instrument. Let's show you a, an example of our first note. Our first note. And to point out the modeling that Peter mentioned, you can hear that that's actually a real flute playing. And it's a beautiful tone, and it is what you want students to emulate. And that's what we want them to hear and to reproduce on their own. If they got to the end of that exercise to go to the next one, you go to the next one. It's really that simple. I do want to show you one last thing, which are the supplemental pages, because these are pedagogically sound and they just look absolutely fantastic. Um, how about some alternate tunes for line 66? When you click on them, they open as a PDF. And there they are. Now, if you have students that need some extra reinforcement for this section of the book, they've got more pieces that they can practice and play. They can print these and look at them on the music stand. And you've just got so much information that's available for them. Peter, back to you. And one of the most amazing things about SI Online with the enrichment pages is every single line is recorded and available for students to practice with an accompaniment. Uh, so it doesn't matter which page they're going to do, they're going to find it exactly the same way. The other amazing resource is smart music. One of the most exciting things is that all of Sound Innovations Book One is available for free on smart music. Students can see an exercise and hear the accompaniment. They can use the assessment tool, which shows notes in red that are played incorrectly or green when played correctly. This gives students immediate feedback, preventing them from practicing something wrong. It also can allow us to track student progress and practice time, saving us untold hours of work. It has, as well, the tempo changing software and the ability to loop a passage. But one of my favorite things is that a student can simply hover over a note and view the correct fingering for any pitch in an exercise. Again, step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use SI Online and Smart Music are available at alfred.com slash SI Online and academy.smartmusic.com. Chris, why don't you show them how easy it is to access Smart Music? Sure. Again, just to navigate your way to the Sound Innovations curriculum, you type it in the search bar and you'll see all the books that are available from Sound Innovations. And you'll see that book one is right here for free. You would open it, choose the instrument, Pick the movement, which is what each exercise is called. Select it, and then you open it. Now I've already done that here for us. And you can see how it looks exactly on the screen as it looks in their book. And then here's some of the tools that Peter was mentioning. You're going to see the navigation. If you're going to practice, you push play. And you're just going to play along, follow along. If you wanted to assess and record, you would push the record button. And that's where you're going to get that feedback on what was correct, what was incorrect, and even then, you can listen to it play it back to see for yourself what you can improve. Some very helpful tools up here are the tempo changing. So 80 beats a minute is the standard. You can go faster or slower and then reset it. You've got a handy dandy tuner right there, which comes up right in the middle of the screen. It's easy to find, and it's, it works fantastically. Looking over here, let's give this a play. And I'm going to turn on and off the metronome, a synthetic realization of your part, 
and the accompaniment, just so you can hear how this works in action. If you wanted to loop that, you would click one of these tabs up here and just set the looping feature. To show the other thing that Peter really likes, because I really like it also, when you click or hover on a note, you can see the two little icons that show up. Here's the fingering chart. And if there's multiple options, you can choose through which one is appropriate for you. Just another example of what you can do. Here's one of the duets. Just give you a quick sneak peek on that. I won't play it all the way through. Next, I'm going to show you a full band piece that is from the method book. So this is in the book itself, Rock This Band. And again, you're going to notice that's a, that's a real recording. That's what we want to emulate. We want a role model. So much of what we do is to emulate what great music sounds like. If you don't know what beautiful music sounds like, how can we expect students to produce it? Along with that, you're going to see a correlated performance music series. Uh, it has some wonderful writers in it. Some guy, Robert Sheldon. I have a few pieces in there. Scott Watson, Brian Beck. Uh, and they're correlated to different sections throughout the book. There are also many of them are in smart music, so you can find them in here. And then have your students, after they work on one of the levels in the book, assign them one of the pieces that's in the series as well. And it sounds amazing, and your kids are going to get that immediate feedback and knowing what to practice and getting that immediate feedback to get better as musicians. And now back to you, Peter. Thank you, Chris. Hopefully you can see why we're so excited about these two remarkable resources. But you know, ultimately, one of the most important things we as teachers have to do, especially with our beginners, is to make this fun, to make it enjoyable, that this journey students are starting will be as wonderful for them as it was for us. To that end, Robert, why don't you share some ideas on how we can do just that? Well, sure, because, you know, we really do need to make this something that's fun for the students. You know, the kids are already really stressed, so we need to find a way to present them with a joyful escape. It's up to us to provide that and make them want to return to band when school resumes. So here's just a few ideas you might consider. You might want to plan some remote learning games you can play online with the class to keep them motivated. Have some fun with the games and also have some prizes you can give for the kids who do the best. Uh, if you're able to meet your students in small groups, have a sectional meet where you can have the students play together, play for each other, and celebrate being in band. Maybe find some YouTube performances that you can play over Zoom and discuss to be able to find some really great models for what you want the students to be able to become musically. Uh, maybe demonstrate something yourself that's inspiring or fun that'll keep your students engaged. You can always create an online musical scavenger hunt or send them a musical word search or puzzle or game. Maybe text them a musical joke of the day. You know you have tons of really bad band director jokes. <laughs> and maybe just send a musical listening guide. You know, it's up to us to find ways to make our new band members feel like they're part of something special, because they are. Band is so much more than a class, and we have to make sure our students can experience the joy of making music no matter where they are. It's up to us to make sure that we keep music in our students' lives because they need music now more than ever. And we hope that the materials and ideas in this short video presentation are of help to you. So thanks for watching, and best of luck.